Hello, my name's Andrew, I'm from the FKOC. I hate videos, really do. So, bear with me, I talk differently, my voice will sound well different if you ever see me in public. Yeah, um, right. Basically, a few people want to know how to remove the rear beams from KAs, you know, you might want to polybush them, something like that, get them powder coated at the same time. So, uh, what I've got here is um, a wreck of a car, and I'm going to show you the basics of getting it off. I'm not going to actually do it because I've just finished doing it myself now. So I thought I'd uh, at least uh, show you where all the bolts are and um, stuff. Anyway, so the first thing I would say you want to do is secure your vehicle. Um, now hopefully you'll have axle stands and a trolley jack. You want to jack it up on the rear beam yeah, you're going to be removing it, I know, but jack it up on there, it's the safest place. Probably dead in the middle if you've only got one trolley jack. And uh, where you want to place your axle stands is just around here. If you can see, we've got the swinging arm carrier there. And just in front of it, you can see I've got the trolley jack with the chocker wood resting just half on the plate and half on there. It's probably not the best place, you probably should have gone straight behind it. But still, it's been safe, secure. Give your car a wiggle before you do anything else. You know, make sure the car is actually fully secure before you actually get underneath it. Last thing you want is one falling on your face. It's not happened yet, thank God. Yeah. Some might say otherwise. So right, back under here. You want to remove both the wheels, get rid of them. It'll only cause you problems because you probably won't be able to get the car high enough on the axle stands to allow you to get them off any other time. So then, um, Next thing you want to do, remove the two bolts. You might either, whether you've got eyelet or fork type suspension, remove the suspension strut bolts either side. Uh, simple enough. Uh, next thing you might want to do is remove the four bolts holding both the hubs on, again on either side. Now, um, the tricky part comes is those two big nuts at the back that were holding on the trailing arm. I'll show you them. These little bad boys. These are the bane of my life. I hate them. I've spent about half an hour trying to get one of them out. It was a pain. Not very fun at all. Uh, but once you've got them out, all it should be a case of doing is uh, getting your trolley jack and hopefully lowering the beam to the floor. There we go. Now all I've got to do is just prise them out on either side and hopefully it will just drop straight onto the floor. With not as much of a bang as I'm hoping. Doesn't seem to want to play ball. This is where a little bit of man force 10 is required. I hate cars. There we go. And it should just pull out. There we go. And that's the rear beam out of the car. Now in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to polybush these. Now just for your information, these are actually 63.5 mil. There are some listed that are a bit smaller than that, uh, that are about 40 something, 49 mil. Don't buy these. A um, few people on the site have already bought them, they don't fit. Bit of a waste of time sending them back and a bit of a waste of money if you can't send them back if you buy them on eBay. Make sure you get a good returns policy with the company you're buying from. Um, other than that, you might just want to clean it up, powder coat it. I'm going to give this a sand, it's got a bit of surface rust on it. Get rid of all that. 
give it a nice little fresh paint, you know, coat of paint. Uh, I'll do a little video on installing the bushes as well because it's easier to see things in a video than it is uh, with a load of pictures. So, yeah, uh, more videos to come if you want to check out anything else. If you're already a member of the FKOC, you'll already know what I'm on about. But yeah, for anyone that isn't, it's www.fordcarownersclub.com. Check it out. Catch you guys later.